Yeah. <laughs> she's very low to the ground because that's where she's safe. Do you want to try a little bit? What do you think? Hmm? So she definitely had fleas. But we were able to treat those today. Oh, is that better? That's better, huh? So she has not been doing much exploring. She's a little bit scared. Are you a little bit scared? Hmm? She's very sweet though. Um, so she... Oh, the train? What do you think about the train? You'll get very used to that, I think. Oh, such a pretty girl. She's so pretty. Look at her fluffy tail. Oh, are you going to jump up there? So, um, she got booted when she came home prego and some very nice uh, people. She actually broke into a neighbor's house through their balcony and they were taking as good of care of her as they could, but uh, they knew they couldn't care for her and kittens. So um, they did the best thing they could for her, which is wonderful. They didn't know that they had options as far as, you know, no kill shelters and foster homes and things like that. So. Uh, it's always good to get the word out. Of course, she has chosen the electronics area for her little hangout spot. It's very safe and warm back there. Um, I'm hoping that overnight she will explore a little bit more and uh, be a little more comfortable. She did have a kind of a long day today because we went to LAPS for intake and then we went to Dr. Ferguson's for an exam. Hi, kitty, kitty, kitty. Hi. Oh, you're so pretty. <laughs> She's very low to the ground. You can't see her. Very stealthy. So I'm giving her some space. I'm not going to crowd her too much, but she does like being petted. She just needs to be brave enough to explore a little bit. Hi! Oh, so pretty! Who's so pretty? So, um, she probably has a couple weeks left to go. Um, before she has the baby, so we will all get to know her a little bit better. It's good because we'll get some good nutrition into her. We'll have the fleas gone, we'll have the tapeworms gone. Um, she has lots of scabs on her head and neck from, um, she had a flea collar on, which is not great for pregnant moms, but um, hopefully, uh, Hopefully we got her treated with in time to mitigate any effects of that. Um, revolution, uh, we, we give her revolution for the fleas, which is something that is safe for pregnant moms. And tomorrow we will be giving her Profender, which is for the tapeworms, which is also safe for pregnant moms. What are you looking at? You see, oh, she sees herself in the mirror. Oh my goodness. Who is that gorgeous kitty in the mirror? Just gorgeous. <laughs> so, uh, we will be doing an x-ray in about a week. Um, we did do an x-ray today. Dr. Ferguson has some concerns that it may not be a healthy pregnancy. So, 
we um, will we have some test results <clears throat> coming in tomorrow that will help rule out um, the, like uterine infection, uh, some stuff like that. Um, and so we will just do whatever we can do to make sure everyone is healthy and safe. And so we don't know how many at this point. But either way, if she does have some sort of infection, um, it's a good thing that she's here because those are, there are certain things that progress very rapidly and if not treated are fatal. So uh, luckily I will be monitoring her very closely and Dr. Ferguson is of course all over it. So at least uh, we know that no matter what happens, she will be okay. And hopefully everybody will be safe and healthy. But. Uh, we'll probably, we'll know more for sure tomorrow when we get the test results back and then we'll know even more a week from now when we do the follow-up x-ray. So, uh, what else? Oh, and we were, she is negative for feline leukemia and FIV thanks to Bobby's Fund. Uh, we were able to test her right away, which is great. <laughs> She's just staring at that other kitty in the mirror. What do you think? What do you think? Pretty girl? Such a pretty girl. <laughs> so that's good. Hey, pretty girl. Should we try to get a better shot of her? Oh, she's just gonna go over there now. Don't want to um, smoosh. Where did her oh her teeth arm is hanging out? Over right here. There she is. So I'm not I'm uh, not gonna crowd her too much. Until she gets to know me a little bit better. Want her to feel safe on her own terms but she does have food and water and she will be starting to feel better after the revolution kicks in she's she's a little itchy uh, not as bad as Callie was but she's got some pretty big scabs from scratching on, on her head mostly uh, There she is, little teeny in the corner. So I think what I'm gonna do is uh, leave reruns on, but I'll do a picture in picture so that you can see her, but you may not, cause she, you may not actually see much of her for the next few days. So I will um, keep the adorable dancing kitten reruns and uh, do picture in picture so you can watch. And then so I can do updates. Um, oh, Dora. Dora the chicken bone kitten. She is doing very well. Um, she uh, has been has started to pass the bones, which is very good news. So um, she's not 100% out of the woods yet, but it's a very good sign that the bones are actually passing through and things seem to be functioning down there, which is great. <laughs> she could have babies on gallonite. She could, it's probably more likely she'll have them. Well, what day is it? The 21st, yeah. The gala is coming up, so I'm guessing it may actually even be after the gala that we have babies. So we'll see. Um, 
all of the boy babies will be black or they could possibly be gray. They could have white on them, uh, but they will only be, only either be black, gray, or black and white, gray and white. Girls uh, could be, depending on the dad or dad's colors, girls could be different colors, but the boys will be black, gray, or black and white, gray and white. Just in case anyone was wondering. She does not growl or hiss. She's very sweet. She purrs when, when she's petted. She's just, um, she's just, uh, needs to adjust. She's stressed right now because of the change, the changes, but she's very, very sweet. So we'll have to figure out how to identify if we get a bunch of little black kittens. We'll have to figure out the best way to make them identifiable so you guys can tell them apart. Hey, pretty girl. Oh, such a pretty girl. Such a pretty, pretty girl. Oops. There she is. She's so pretty. Hello. Hello. Oh, you're so pretty. You're so pretty. Hello. Are you purring a little bit? She's purring, but she's not quite sure. She's not quite sure. Oh, but she's so pretty. She's so pretty. Mm -hmm. All right. She's so pretty. Oh, you've got some fluff on your face. You've got some fluff on your face, huh? That's a good girl. Yeah, that's a good girl. Yes. All right. I'm gonna leave, leave her alone a bit. Hopefully she will come out and eat something. Oh, it's so beautiful. Oh, do you like that? No slow blinkies from, from you yet. We work on that though. Oh, I know. All right. All right. So. This has got some flea curses in it and tapeworms. So I'm gonna take that away. going to be dimly lit in here. Dimly lit, we've got the feel away going, which is pheromone, cat pheromones that should help her feel more comfortable.
remove the door handle from the door because Pantsaroo has gotten so good at opening it. So now I have to like open the door with a special screwdriver thing. too bad. Okay. There. That should be that should be very comfortable for her. She can do some exploring. Bunny. Oh, bunny. Nobody wants that right now. Nobody wants that right now. Bunny. Okay, so I'm going to switch back to the PIP. Oh, that bunny. How does she even do that? I forgot the key. What are you doing? No, don't do that. <laughs> All right. Uh, back to the kittens, picture in picture. 